of a data processing system. This one serves a major banking institution. Among other things, it processes payrolls, bills accounts receivable, and reconciles accounts for industrial and business firms. Today, machines do things very, very quickly and accurately, more quickly and more economically than any other method. Someone has said that the machine now has a high school education, in the sense that it can do most jobs that graduates of high schools can do. This is a high school graduate plus. He is one of those who control the machine, its master. The plus that put him here, bossing the machine, is a community college education. She, too, has been prepared to meet change, to accept the challenge of new ways of doing things through a community college. These are high school graduates, plus they are engineering aides in a nuclear research center. Their jobs are important ones, demanding technical skills and the desire to explore new fields instilled in them by a community college. This is a teacher. Not too many years ago, she might not have found her way here. The opportunity to develop her intellectual potential and to discover a desire to contribute might not have presented itself to her. A community college offered her a place to begin. Each year, more and more high school graduates face a future that demands more of them. They seek their place to begin on a college level, a place to learn the skills the world requires, to be helped in making decisions, selecting goals, discovering and developing their full potentials. In New York State, thousands of high school graduates find the place to begin in the community colleges. For most, there is one nearby. Tuition fees are nominal. They can live at home. The range of subjects offered is geared to the needs of modern industry and business, the professions and the arts. Community colleges are a fairly new look in college education. They have been termed colleges of this century. Their basic contribution is opportunity, the fulfillment of a right to try. The State University of New York extends the right to try through a number of community colleges located throughout the state. At this moment, they are here. Interest among the leadership of other communities indicates that others soon will be established. Most of the high school graduates who enroll in these colleges will do so near their homes, for nearly all of the citizens of the state live within commuting distance of a community college. But since the colleges are concerned with meeting the needs of the communities they serve, their curricula vary. Thus, an applicant may seek a course of study not provided locally. Here, for example, is one of the few colleges in the United States offering a major in ophthalmic dispensing. It is a community college, and any New York State student may apply for admission. Tuition and fees will be the same as for residents of the community in which it is located. Thus, the total community college system is available to all. Why community college? Well, because it serves in the main the community of its location. It is supported and guided through the cooperative interrelationship of three entities. First, its board of trustees, which of course is drawn from the leadership of the community, and then a local sponsoring body, such as maybe a local school district, or the local county government or municipal government, and the State University of New York. The community responsibility is discharged by members of the community who serve on the board of trustees of each college. These men and women serve without pay. They represent the leadership of the community, businessmen, industrialists, political leaders, professional men and women. And they bear a final responsibility for the growth and progress of the college and are charged to see that it meets the needs of the community. A school district, county or municipal governing body is the local sponsor for the college and with substantial financial assistance from the State University of New York, the sponsor provides capital funds for buildings and equipment, as well as for the operating budget of the college. Although the community colleges are an integral part of the State University's statewide system of colleges and universities, they exercise strong local autonomy to respond to new needs and to offer new challenges, to instigate growth and development. And for the undergraduates, young men and women, the colleges offer an academic atmosphere in which to develop goals and to pursue them. Buildings and equipment are tools only as effective as those who use them. 
The faculties of the community colleges are dedicated to teaching, the skill development of the full potential of each student, the awakening of young minds to new ideas, the opening of doors to critical discovery of himself, and above all, the instilling of enthusiasm for continued growth and the independent search for new knowledge, new ways to contribute to his daily work, his community, and to mankind. The professor-student relationship is an intimate one, in and out of the classroom, ranging from informal discussions to individual counseling in the constant search for the right objectives for each student, the one through which he will achieve the most and utilize the maximum of his abilities. Many will find their goals and achieve them in the technical fields, metallurgical technology, mechanical industrial technology, construction, electronics, many, many others. The colleges constantly adapt curricula to keep abreast of technical advance in the world of business, industry, and health career. There is in being an explosion of knowledge. Each day brings new discoveries. Others will find their niche in services, medical laboratory technicians and nursing, as skilled dental hygienists, office management and the skills of commerce. This young man is studying food administration. Today, for one day, he is the manager of the college cafeteria, responsible for coordinating all of the services required to feed several hundred students. He personifies the goals of the community colleges themselves, or he will become a leader in his field, a restaurant manager, a food buyer for a restaurant chain, an administrator, he will know what needs to be done because he will have done it. And for many, the beginning is in liberal arts or other parallel programs. Here the development of the mind, the understanding of the world, of the past and the present, of people under the guidance of challenging professors will lead them to discovery of interests and potentials they otherwise might never find. They will become the scholars and teachers, the lawyers and doctors. In every graduating class, squirming in the moment of crystal truth during final exams, are completions and beginnings. Some here are ready now to take their places, usefully and productively, in business, in industry. Others have found the spark, the knowledge of themselves and their potentials that will send them on to further education and to prof as teachers, doctors, lawyers, graduate engineers, physicists. Each has been given the opportunity to exercise his right to try, to achieve the most with the talents and abilities given him, to become all he is capable of being to the benefit of his fellow men and of himself. I think we would agree that if this alone were the accomplishments of the community colleges, to afford the graduates of our high schools the opportunity to discover and develop their full potentials in this age of exploding knowledge, their achievement would be substantial. But a community college is more to the community it serves. Here are the lighted campuses, serving not only undergraduate young people, but adults as well. Knowledge floods upon us. The things we learned just today can only partially serve us today if we do not continue to learn, to absorb, we cannot grow. New knowledge, new discovery challenges us. As adults, we must continue to learn. In every field, there is need to keep abreast. For example, these are engineers. Cooperating with industry, the community college is providing an opportunity to catch up to the new ideas, the new discoveries, the new knowledge. The men and the company will benefit, and their communities will too. 
The explosion of knowledge and the development of more and more sophisticated machines has had a great impact on business, industry, and people. The machines and the knowledge replace old methods, old concepts. People must be taught new methods and new concepts. The community colleges are a focal point in cooperation with local industry and business in providing for the continuing processes of keeping abreast. These are citizens of this century. They have taken advantage of their right to try. They have found their goals and the world has gained. For as they fulfill their potentials, they will contribute. They not only will accept change and progress, they will fashion them. school students have joined with us for an all-day open house at Onondaga Community College. Each year, more and more high school graduates face a future that demands more of them. Each year, more of them join with us at Onondaga Community College, a place where in two years, these young men and women can learn the skills the world requires, where they can be helped in making decisions, selecting goals, discovering and developing their full potential. Throughout Onondaga County and the central New York area, thousands of high school graduates are finding that the best place to begin is at Onondaga Community College. It is nearby, tuition fees are nominal, and students can live at home. The range of courses offered is geared to the needs of modern industry and business, of the professions and the arts. Onondaga Community College, a part of the State University of New York, is concerned with meeting the needs of the greater Syracuse community. Now a student can follow courses of study which, until now, could not be found locally. The potential student will find that we want him and that we have a program for him whether he's a mediocre or a bright student, whether he has special talents or doesn't yet know what he would be good at. These students are potential electrical technologists. Today's emphasis on electronic developments for space exploration and the expanding demand for consumer goods have created an ever-increasing need for competent graduates with two-year degrees in electrical technology. The three major divisions at Onondaga Community College, the technical arts, the liberal arts, and the creative and performing arts offer a wide variety of two-year associate degree programs. One of these technical programs is dental hygiene, where classes and laboratories combine theory and technique, as here in the modern dental hygiene laboratory. Clinical as well as practical experience is gained through providing dental services for the elementary school children of Onondaga County. These students are studying to be draftsmen. They will go on to fill the increasing shortage of mechanical, electrical, and architectural draftsmen locally. No other program of this kind is available in the Syracuse area. This is a computer, and tomorrow's computer programmers and technicians are operating it. Today, machines can do things very quickly and accurately. In fact, someone has said that today's machine has a high school education in the sense that it can now do most jobs that graduates of high schools can do. These young people are high school graduates. Plus, they are the ones who will control the computer. The plus that can put them there, bossing the computer, is an Onondaga Community College education. The computer science program will provide two years of requisite liberal arts with emphasis in mathematics, science, and machine computation. Nursing is another of the two-year programs recently introduced. This program came about in response to the pressing need for nurses in Syracuse and Onondaga County. Today's nurses are educated much differently than they were even 10 years ago. In the modern concept of nursing education, 
liberal arts and social sciences play as important a part as do the biological sciences in this way nurses will be prepared not only to perform their clinical duties skillfully but also to meet the pressing needs and demands of our modern society but curriculums buildings and equipment are tools only as effective as those who use them for our undergraduates young men and women the college offers an academic atmosphere to help you develop goals and pursue them the faculty and the facilities are dedicated to awakening the full potential of each student the awakening of young minds to new ideas the opening of doors to critical discovery of the individual and above all the instilling of enthusiasm for continued growth the professor student relationship is on an intimate one to one basis in and out of the classroom ranging from informal discussions to individual counseling in the constant search for the right objectives for each student Onondaga Community College constantly adapts its curricula to keep abreast of technical advancements in the world of business industry and health careers each day brings new discoveries many of our students will eventually find their place in the service fields such as medical laboratory or library technology police science business administration and accounting for many of our students the answer is a program in the liberal arts or another university parallel program here the student is concerned with the development of the mind the understanding of the world of the past and the present under the guidance of challenging professors these students will be led to the discovery of interests and potentials they otherwise might never have found they will become tomorrow's scholars and teachers and lawyers and doctors many students may find their niche in the creative and performing arts which include at Onondaga programs in drama radio television and music these students plan to enter some phase of the unique broadcasting profession graduates of the radio television program have obtained attractive positions with television and radio stations not only in Syracuse but throughout New York state and the United States some radio TV graduates prefer to continue specializing by transferring to a four-year college broadcasting majors who follow a comprehensive course of study in radio TV will find themselves in a most favorable position for transfer for the first time in the history of American education the arts are at last beginning to receive equal emphasis with the sciences the program in drama at Onondaga Community College not only gives the young actor or theater technician a two-year background equivalent to that offered by a professional drama school it also provides a student with a well-rounded cultural education many drama students have completed these first two years in preparation for later entrance into allied fields such as advertising sales management and journalism private instrumental study with principal chair musicians of the Syracuse Symphony and other leading professional musicians is one of the attractions of the widely known music program at Onondaga Community College the only one of its kind currently being offered outside the metropolitan New York area courses in music include theory literature and harmony and are entwined with valuable foundation courses in the liberal arts English Western culture biology and sociology as the lifelong needs of our present-day students are anticipated in the light of personal academic and community needs new programs are developed and plants are designed but all is not work part of the complete education of the Onondaga student is the good fun and valuable leadership experience to be gained through extracurricular activities in addition to special events such as this faculty student basketball game collegiate organizations such as student publications the speech and broadcasting club ski club the engineering society the Roskian players and the international relations club the college also provides a broad choice of musical organizations and athletics the faculty and staff firmly believes that a sound athletic program contributes to the total academic program special events like winter weekend spring weekend student mixers freshman orientation week and picnics are among the highlights in the social calendar through these student sponsored programs and sporting events all of which are free of charge our students make new and lifetime friends Onondaga Community College deals in futures 
Our college helps to build boys and girls into mature men and women. If we do our work well, each student becomes all that he is capable of being, which is the motto of the State University of New York. Twenty years ago, the thought of students breakfasting with the president of the college on a once-weekly basis would have been unheard of. Today at Onondaga Community College, it is commonplace. It is welcomed. It is a part of the total learning experience for both administrator and student. Scenes like this provide ample proof that Onondaga Community College can rightly be called a college in harmony with history. In its past, as well as its present, and certainly for the future, this college is dedicated to fulfilling the needs of the citizens of the community who support it, and who in turn are served by it. As such, the college reflects the changing needs and desires of the community and of the society in which it exists. As a young institution on our new campus, what will we do here at Onondaga Community College? Primarily, we will found here an exciting place for learning and doing, for the pursuit of excellence and truth in higher education among a congenial community of dedicated teachers and scholars will find rich expression in the liberal, creative, and technical arts. This can be done through an intimate consideration of individual growth and development, through masterful teaching, and through contributions for the advancement of mankind toward the end that man will more completely realize his destiny. It can be achieved by being as unafraid of the traditional as of the new, by using the best of the scholars of Greece and Rome, and the best of the latest scientific information from outer space. Our prayerful hope is that the people of this community will continue to give us the tools by which we can shape a better tomorrow for their sons and daughters.